gas laws as tested in the year 2023 KCSE chemistry paper 2 welcome number 6a roman 1 state charles law of gases at constant pressure Charles law states that at constant pressure the volume the volume of a fixed mass of a gas the volume of a fixed mass of a gas we know is directly proportional is directly proportional to its absolute temperature now i want you to take note that without the word absolute there'll be no marks for statement of the law so this statement would earn the candidate one mark of course those candidates who would go for the mathematical representation would also get the mark and we know mathematically charles law can be expressed as v is equal to a constant multiplied by the absolute temperature so v is equal to kt would also score the mark moving on to a roman 2 we are given a table here the table is labeled table 7 so table 7 shows the data obtained in an experiment using 0 0.012 moles of neon gas so there is temperature in kelvin there is volume in liters and there is pressure in atmospheres so when temperature is 250 kelvin volume is 0 0.005 liters and when temperature is 300 kelvin the volume is 0 0.006 liters of course pressure is constant here because we are talking about charles law so having studied the table the candidates were asked to show that the data in the table is consistent with charles law and this was so easy to prove we would only prove that v1 volume 1 by temperature 1 should give the same value as volume 2 by temperature 2 so according to our table let's begin with volume 1 0 0.005 liters by temperature 1 of 250 we are getting 2 times 10 to power negative 5 liters per kelvin then we do the same for volume 2 0 0.006 by temperature 2 of 300 kelvin you realize we get the same figure of 10 times i mean 2 times 10 to power negative 5 liters per kelvin so having done this we have shown that v1 by t1 is actually the same as v2 by t2 so for two marks one mark for v1 by v2, uh, v1 by t1 and another one mark for v2 by t2 to part b roman one still on gas laws the candidates were now asked to state the graham's law of diffusion of gases and this we know states that rate of diffusion rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely is inversely proportional is inversely proportional to the square root of the gases 
density. Of course, at same condition, at same condition of temperature and pressure. This would earn our candidates the one mark assigned for the question. But of course, we also accepted the mathematical relation rate is inversely proportional to the square root of density. So, either the statement or the mathematical representation would score for that section. And we then move to part B, Roman 2. Given that one mole of a gas occupies a volume of 24 liters at RTP, which is 298 Kelvin, the candidates were asked to calculate the density, of course, in grams per liter of one oxygen gas and two hydrogen gas. So here, we know density, which we are being asked to calculate, is usually given by mass divided by volume. So for the mass, we would go for the molar mass of oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is O2. So the molar mass would be 16 given here times 2. That gives 32. And then we divide by volume, which has been given here as 24 liters. This would give density of 1.33. The units have been clarified. Grams per liter. One mark, half for the division and half for the answer. Moving on to hydrogen, we do the same thing. Density is mass by volume. For mass, hydrogen is H2. So the molar mass would be 1 times 2, that is 2, divided by the molar gas volume at RTP, which is 24. This should give us 0 0.083, again, grams per liter, as dictated by the question. Half for the division and a half for the answer. To part three, we are told to determine the rate of diffusion of hydrogen gas compared to that of oxygen at 298 Kelvin. So here we shall use the relation rate of diffusion of hydrogen by rate of diffusion of oxygen is given by the square root of density of oxygen by density of hydrogen. Now, this relation here is good enough for the first half mark. Then we go ahead and do substitution. Density of oxygen has been found up there to be 1.33. Density of hydrogen is 0 0.083. This substitution would earn ourselves one whole mark and then getting the answer of four. Because if you work this out, you get root of around 16.02, which becomes four. For the last mark, of course, without units. So what this means is that hydrogen diffuses four times faster than oxygen. So for two marks, that is how the question was expected to have been answered. Moving now to part C. We are told ammonia gas was prepared in the laboratory by warming a mixture of solid ammonium chloride and solid calcium hydroxide. The examiner was generous enough to give us the reaction for the equation. Two moles of ammonium chloride solid 
reacting with one mole of calcium hydroxide solid to give one mole of calcium chloride solid, two moles of water liquid, and two moles of ammonia gas. Now, we are told that the gas was dried and then collected. Now, if the volume of ammonia collected was 1340 cubic centimeters, but this was temperature above room temperature, 312 Kelvin, though the atmospheric pressure was one atmosphere. We are given the relative atomic masses of nitrogen, chlorine, and hydrogen, and of course, molar gas volume at RTP to be 24 liters. So for the first part, calculate the volume that the gas would occupy at 298K and one atmosphere pressure. Remember, this volume was collected at 312 Kelvin. So here, the candidate was just supposed to apply the universal gas equation. P1, V1 by T1 is the same as P2, V2 by T2. Now, if you make V2 the subject of the formula, because that is what we are asked here, the second volume, you realize that the volume 2 would be given by pressure 1 multiplied by volume 1 multiplied by temperature 2 divided by pressure 2 by temperature 1. Now, substituting these values from the question, we realize volume 1 is given by pressure 1, 1 atmosphere, times volume 1, 1340 cubic centimeter. Temperature 2 is 298 Kelvin. Then we divide this by pressure 2. Pressure 2 has been given as 1 here times temperature 1. Temperature 1 is 312 Kelvin. So when you work this out, we get volume 2 as 1279.87 cubic centimeters. For 2 marks, using the correct relation for the universal gas equation, half mark, doing the correct substitutions, one whole mark, and the answer half mark. We end by looking at question C, part 2. We are asked to determine the mass of ammonium chloride that reacted. So here, the first thing that a candidate was to remember is the equation for the reaction, so that we get mole ratios. So once again, the equation was 2 moles of ammonium chloride in solid state were reacting with only 1 mole of calcium hydroxide, again solid, to give 1 mole of calcium chloride, solid, 2 moles of water, liquid, and 2 moles of ammonia, gas. So the beautiful thing here is we've gotten the volume of ammonia that was produced at room temperature where this reaction took place. So this volume can be used to get moles of ammonia, which can then be used to get moles of ammonium chloride. Remember, mole ratio here is 1 is to 1. So we begin the calculations by looking at moles of ammonia gas. And here, we will divide the volume that we got in the previous section, that is 1279.87. We divide by the molar gas volume of 24,000 cubic centimeter. This would give 0 0.053 moles. And because mole ratio is 1 is to 1, it therefore means that moles of our ammonium chloride, which we are asked, will also be 0 0.053 moles. Now, from here, 
we are supposed to get the relative molecular mass of our compound in question and this would be nitrogen is 14 the four hydrogens would be 4 and chlorine would be 35.5 this gives relative molecular mass of 53.5 finally we use this together with the number of moles here now to get the mass mass of ammonium chloride that reacted it would be the molar mass 53.5 multiplied by the number of moles 0 0.053 that gives a mass of 2.8355 grams for two marks so we would give half mark for the number of moles of ammonia gas half mark for the correct mole ratio one is to one half for multiplication by molar mass and half for the last answer or the final answer that is the end of our review of gas laws as tested in 2023 kcse chemistry kindly keep it the kenyan teacher for more of such reviews